Hello everyone, I'm Michael Norton of M16 Ministries. I'm also the author of A Field Guide to Spiritual Warfare that came out in 2010. That's used for primarily for been people going through demonic oppression and some severe hauntings. And just recently, as of 2017, September, I released a follow-up book, A Field Guide to Advanced Spiritual Warfare. That's this book right here. And it covers some more advanced topics on deliverance, exorcism, and satanic ritual abuse. Um, what we're going to cover today is the topic of Satanic Ritual Abuse Programming. One of the most controversial subjects right now, I think, as we enter into deliverance is the subject of Satanic Ritual Abuse, which ironically, Satanic Ritual Abuse does not fit into the theology or the ministry of deliverance, say that, the ministry of deliverance itself. Uh, when we're dealing with satanic ritual abuse, we're actually dealing with a healing ministry and not a deliverance ministry. And we'll cover a few of these topics while this is momentarily. What I want to cover today is a topic of programming that is involved satanic ritual abuse. Programming is defined as a systematic dividing or dissociation of an individual, a child's mind, through trauma and severe pain for the deliberate use in rituals and secret society rituals. And that's kind of a, a word for right there. What we're looking at is evil secret societies. There's a Satanism, voodoo, witchcraft, Freemason that use children at the young age, all the way from the womb, cause trauma to the womb, cause the mind to dissociate, which means to fracture up the soul into multiple parts. So these souls fractures can be, have their pieces of their will compromised. So they voluntarily participate in rituals. That's a topic that's kind of come up in deliverance ministry a lot lately. And I see deliverance ministers, you know, coming into this arena and trying to do deliverance on these people. I'm going to talk about why this doesn't work. First of all, programming is involved with dividing the mind, the human mind. It has very little to do with casting out demons, although demons may be present for the rituals and present or attached to these people, these parts. We're actually looking at the inner healing of these parts. This could be thousands of them in a person. And deliverance simply doesn't work because you're trying to cast out a human part. You know, we're in deliverance that says we cast out human parts. It, it doesn't. What we're required to do is come in and do healing with these people, heal these parts. I see a lot of um, ministries now actually hurting more people than they are helping more people. And it's primarily falling on the side of deliverance ministry. And that's been a... a tough matter for me to deal with because I'm having to come in, help people who think they've been worked on their healing, find out they've been damaged by deliverance ministry, and we have to go backwards and help these people. So I'd like to get this message out to deliverance ministry to just stop. When you think you're coming across a satanic ritual abuse survivor, stop. Don't do any more deliverance. Um, it doesn't work. There's many other ministries that need to stop too. Um, I'm going to come out and say it because I'm not involved in these, but I've been trained and worked with them. Um, Sozo and Shabar need to stop. On satanic ritual abuse survivors. It needs to stop. Um, unless you really involve, know how warfare is, is dealt with the occult, you can't be involved in this. And some people step in this arena thinking they were anointed and they're not, and it's hurting more people. And that's the main reason I'm coming out now to talk about programming, is just that we're seeing more and more of it surface, and more and more ministries are trying to handle it, and there's a right way and a wrong way to handle it. The wrong way is deliverance ministry, flat out. The wrong way is Sozo ministry, and the wrong way is Shabar. End of story. What we're dealing with is multiple identities that have been forcefully created through severe trauma, through emotional, physical, and sexual abuse, severe emotional, physical, sexual abuse, beyond your wildest imagination, causes these children to fracture and split. And when we go in through healing ministry, we go in to repair and let Jesus go in and heal the fractures. And that's what it is simply. But you got to know how to navigate the occult. And you got to know how to navigate what's going on with these people. These parts don't easily walk out of their freedom because they're involved in what's called a double bind. In other words, many times when we encounter parts, they come off as being evil or ready to you know, cast spells and do stuff. They do do this. There's some occult little parts in there. When you work with them, they'll cast spells on you. And they'll do it. But you have to understand, too, these are little kids. Remember, these parts are created before the age of eight. We have anywhere from infants parts all the way up to age eight parts. 
and they're little people in there and they don't like doing what they're doing. But why they're doing it is because Satan has caught them in a lie. If they stop doing it, then they're going to hurt their family member, hurt their mom, um, kill other parts inside the system. And this, there's horrific stuff that's locking them down. So you have to now know how to navigate the mentality and the demonic theology behind the double bind. And that's not covered in deliverance ministry. You don't cast these things out. Typically what happens is when we get to a point where the part wants to go work with Jesus, Jesus will assist the part in getting rid of the demonic part that's attached to them. It's that simple. Remember what happened to these children wasn't sin. They didn't lust for this. They didn't sin for this and act on it. These were violations against these children. So Jesus handles this deliverance, so to speak, in a much gentler way. And that's what we have to be attentive to. And there's just, I haven't been seeing it in deliverance ministry and other ministries who are just blindly stepping into this. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. Also, you have to have a working knowledge of how other parts inside ritual abuse survivors will be using the occult against you and in ways you don't know. And it takes trained ministries to deal with this. Um, the best approach, if you're starting to learn this, is start, like said, start learning about the life model in Jim Wilder and dissociation. Understand what dissociation is and how it works. And let Jesus slowly bring you to this. When you work with an occult survivor, you work with them for a magnitude of years. All right? A magnitude of years. Five, maybe more. So it's a commitment ministry. And it's not something they're going to cough out these little spirits. It doesn't work that way. They're not going to cough out parts and ritual abuse, which I've seen a lot on. And it's just horrific what you're doing these people. Guys, stop it. Get educated and stop it. Um, but yeah, so it's just, you have to understand the programming. There's multiple levels of the programming. We have thousands of parts inside, fractured soul parts inside a person we call a system. And you have to learn and understand how to navigate that. There's a lot of counseling involved. There's a lot of, you know, a lot of inner healing involved with these people. They do get set free, they get healed, but it's not through the deliverance portion. In fact, we rarely use deliverance. I am a deliverance minister. I work with that. I work as an exorcist too. I've seen the very dark stuff. I came in through the backside because I understood the occult. That's how God brought me into this. Um, and I am not a demonologist. I go, oh, we must be a demonologist. No, I'm a Christologist. I understand how Jesus moves through battling the occult. And you have to be trained on the battlefield for that one. There's no books that teach you this. You know, there's no popular, you know, Christian author who's going to tell you, hey, this is how you do this, and this is how you learn this prayer. You say, nope, you've got to go through the battlefield, and it's not fun. You're going to take on some injuries, too. So if you're a ritual abuse survivor out there, I suggest you just find the right ministries. Um, they're doing this. I would stick to the top ones, like, you know, care, things like that. Um, you know, Thrive, Jim Wilder's Ministries. Look look through ministers in that avenue. Don't go on the internet. I know a lot of these ministries who have also been infiltrated by the occult. And that's the battle we're at right now. So it just, we should protect and, you know, keep the ministers we have out there, the Christian ministers, and some, like I said, have been infiltrated too. It's a, it's, a, it's a dark war going on right now. It's almost like a demonic cold war, right? <laughs> spy versus spy. We operate in the same way. We operate in covert manners too. And just what it is, it's a totally different ball, ballpark than is out there with deliverance ministry. It's totally separate. So again, um, as I said, I appeal to you and I just hope I educated you guys and slightly what programming is. It's, it's a human part that's been fractured and through violence, they've been trained to do something against their will. All right. So Jesus has respect for free will. That's why it takes time to walk these parts out. Jesus respect each and every one of these parts free will until they accept him. That's why it takes so long to work with some of this stuff. It just, he's respect for free will. And in that note, I just hope you guys learned something, and I'll probably try to produce more stuff on ritual abuse as it comes out. And if you're interested in more topics on programming, let me know too, because there's a huge, huge, like I said, <laughs> data mining right here of stuff and subjects on like duplicity programming and double bind programming and all sorts of stuff. Anyhow, that's it for right now. God bless you guys. Thank you.